today we are going to start the topic deterioration of concrete let's begin cement concrete is the most extensive extensively used material for construction of different types of structures such as bridges buildings pipes wall etc but when concrete concrete is placed the compressive strength rather than on environment factors which are known as uh, which are known to affect concrete durability this one of the main reason for serious deterioration of concrete structure causes of deterioration or distress in concrete structure there are uh, eight causes first one is fact, uh, faulty design second one interior materials uh, third one poor concrete practice fourth one abuse of structure fifth one environmental effects sixth one chemical effects seventh one internal stress eighth one mechanical causes common causes for deterioration of concrete are nine causes first one chemical reactions chemical reaction consists of acid attack aggressive water attack alkali carbonate reaction alkali silica reaction sulfate attack next one is design errors it consists of inadequate structural design poor design details next one is shrinkage and permeability shrinkage consists of plasticity and permeability consists of cement content quality of aggregate poor, uh, poor structure water cement ratio age of concrete degree of compaction adequacy of cure, curing next one is temperature change internally generated externally generated fire etc next one is axial accidental loading construction errors freezing and thawing settlement and movement and last one is weathering plastic shrinkage during the period between placing and setting most concrete will exhibit bleeding to some degree bleeding in the appearance moisture on the surface of concrete usually the bleed water evaporates slowly from the concrete surface if environment condition are such that evaporation is occurring faster than water is being supplied to the surface by bleeding so high tensile strength can develop preventive measures to eliminate plastic shrinkage cracks moisture on the subgrade and formwork erect temporary wind breakers to reduce wind velocity erect temporary roof to protect green concrete from hot sun reduce the time between placing and finishing minimize your operation by covering concrete with burlap and curing compound drying shrinkage it is the long term change in volume of concrete caused by the loss of moisture if the shrinkage takes place without any restraint there would be no damage to concrete generally concrete structure is subjected to some degree of restraint by foundation by another part of structure or by the difference in shrinkage between the concrete at the surface and that in the interior or a member drying shrinkage influenced by a number of factors such as cement content water content curing temperature etc preventive measures use of minimum water content use of highest possible aggregate content providing adequate and early curing freezing and thawing the most severe climatic attack on concrete occurs when concrete containing moisture is subject to subjected to cycle of freezing and thawing the capillary pores in the cement paste are of such a size that water in them will freeze when the ambient temperature is below 0 degree celsius 
The repeated cycle of freezing and thawing have a cumulative effect. Freezing and thawing deterioration generally occurs on horizontal surfaces that are exposed to water. Preventive measures Use of low water cement ratio Adequate air entertainment has been found effective to control the freezing damage. Use of durable aggregate Designing the structure to minimize the exposure to moisture that is providing positive drainage rather than flat surface. Accidental loading. This may be character characterized as short duration one time event. This loading can generate stresses higher than the strength of concrete. Prevent image. Accidental loading by their natural cannot be prevented. Minimizing the effect of some occurrences by following proper design produce procedures like earthquake resistant design construction errors failure to follow specified procedures and good practice or outright carelessness may lead to number of conditions that may be grouped together as construction errors which may be adding water to concrete, improper alignment of formwork, improper consolidation, improper curing, improper location of reinforced steel, premature removal of shores and reshores, setting of concrete, vibration of freshly placed concrete, improper finishing of flat work, designing error, inadequate structural design, proper design details, poor, uh, poor design details, abrupt changes in section, insufficient reinforcement at corner and openings, inadequate provision for deflection, inadequate provision for drainage, insufficient travel in expansion joints, incompatibility of materials, rigid joints between precast units, inadequate joints, spacing in slab, settlement and movement. There is two types of mechanism in settlement and movement in concrete structure member differential and subsidence. Temperature changes. Changes in temperature cause a uh, corresponding change in volume of the concrete. Basically, there are three temperature change phenomena that may cause damage to concrete. First one, there, there are temperature changes generated internally by the heat of hydration of cement. Second one, temperature changes generated by variation in climatic condition. Third one is temperature changes generated from external source, fire damage, etc. Symptoms crack from internal restraint will sh shallow and isolate. Preventive measures using low heat cement, placing concrete at minimum practical temperatures. Abrasion and erosion. Abrasion refers to wearing away of surface by friction, erosion refers to wearing away. Of surface by fluids. Chemical cause. The chemical reaction on concrete may be classified as those that occurs as a result of external chemical attacking the concrete like acid attack. Influ influencing factors. The rate at which carbonation reaches the reinforcement is dependent on the following factors. Time rate decreases with in increasing time of exposure to air. Sulfate attack on the concrete. Sulfates are found in the most of the soil as calcium, potassium, sodium, magnesium sulfates. Solid salts do not attack concrete but when present in solution they can react with hardened cement paste. Sulfates are present in seawater industrial influence and some groundwater. These are some chemical reactions regarding sulfate attack. Sulfate attack permeability interaction. The diagram shows the attack of 
sulfate on permeability and spore structure physical damage physical mechanism the damage usually starts at edge and corners and is followed by progressive cracking and spalling which reduce the concrete to a soft state the rate of sulfate attack increases with an increase in the strength of solution this can be reduced by use of cement in cement low in tricalcium aluminate and by the addition of pozzolanic material preventive measure dense concrete and low water cement ratio acid attack on concrete portland cement is highly alkaline material and is not resistant to attack by acids the deterioration is mainly due to reaction between the acid and the products of hydration of cement attack of acid on permeability symptom disintegration of concrete so loss of cement paste and aggregate from the matrix measures increase cement content and reduce water cement ratio alkali reaction of concrete this is also called as alkali carbonate reaction carbonate is aggregate react with the alkalis in cement produces a alkali silica reaction chloride attack on concrete chloride can be introduced in to concrete by coming in to contact with environment containing chloride such as sea water or dye icing salt limits of chloride as per is 4562000 aggressive water attack soft water attack thank you